We got started with Make-A-Wish kind of in an inadvertent way. Cindy and I have always been supporters of pediatric charities, but most of that involved writing of donation checks, not really being involved. I had told Cindy, I said, you know, this really is kind of an empty experience. I don't know what we're doing or what the money goes for. Does it affect somebody's life? And Cindy is the one who came up with Make-A-Wish. So Cindy called the CEO at the time. The CEO said, oh, let me tell you about our mission. I was, no. We want a list of kids, like, now. So we sponsored four wishes that day, and sponsoring wishes is like the, the potato chip commercial. You can't do just one. We had a young boy coming in from the Netherlands who wanted to go down the Las Vegas Strip in a convertible. I rounded up some friends. I rounded up some cars, so we came down with the Maserati convertible. We had this incredible strip experience. He really loved the feeling of the car. He had never had any of those kinds of sensations and he really loved all of that. I think that he was just trying to take it all in before it was over. And it was over way too quick. We had one wish kid that we sponsored, Joe Ristein. Wasn't all that interested in his reveal. He was interested in what we were doing in the office and the technology we were building. And he was just so interested. I said, tell you what, go home and if your doctors sign off on it and your parents sign off on it, you can intern for me next summer. So finally, spring came, he came to work, and he ran rings, ran rings around some of my senior guys. I loved it. I'm not gonna kid you, he just tore it up. He was doing big stuff, complex stuff. End of the summer comes, he says, I don't wanna leave, give me a job. So we gave him a job. He's now gone on to bigger and better things just in the last year. He's gonna have an exceptional life. He's going to have an exceptional career. And I'm excited about that. And I think people think of just the wish as being that, but sometimes it's about a different path. And these kids go on to do amazing things as adults. Well, there's this misconception that it's always about terminally ill children. And, and it's far from it. A lot of these wish kids go on to have tremendous lives as adults and families of their own amazing careers and, and affect the community as well. People get the misconception that it's a final wish, which it's not. Matter of fact, rarely is it. It's about life-threatening diseases that these kids are dealing with and the challenges around that. And I think if they understood better what the mission of Make-A-Wish was, I think they would be less reluctant to get involved. It's not always a Herculean lift to make these kinds of amazing things happen because I got to see what all of these incredible volunteers give of themselves and their time on a daily basis and have less to give. Surreal. I thought about this all night last night. Surreal. Yeah, it's been great. Yeah, but, but when you talk about just around every corner has been something so unexpected and bigger than I ever imagined, it's surreal. It's surreal that I just wanted to buy a wish, and now I get to take the helm for a couple of years as chairman and, and really hope to really affect some lives and leave some good things in our wake. Make a wish just let us not just see it, but experience it. Mm -hmm.